Hey guys, uh, it's the Herpco here. Um, today I'm gonna be doing a request a video by Reptile Boy 999. I think it is. It'll be in the description box. Um, but I'm gonna be showing all my animals. But first, we're gonna go through the snakes. Uh, I bought this essentially for the water dragon, but uh, it was almost too warm on his cage, so I got him just switch the ceramic heater and this one. So this is a uh, 60 watt daytime bulb, it's not a basking, um, and then this is just a UVB, he doesn't really need it, it's just for light. Um, so this is his new setup, uh, I added another plant in there, um, that will be going in the tree frogs tank that I'm getting though, uh, I'm gonna be doing a, uh, well it's kinda like a secret right now, cause I don't really wanna give it away, but, uh, it's gonna be a cool vivarium. Um, so for substrate, I put a bit of cocoa husk mixed with aspen on this side, and then on this side I have the, um, what is it, I think it's, uh, some sort of dirt, I got it from a local gardening store, they're fine with it, um, same thing, water dish, large fern, put another hide in, that's a medium exoterra hide, one there, uh, medium water dish, you want to take a look at that, um, and then I got a couple rocks over here, um, so that's pretty much his setup. I'll put the lid back on the lights. Or no, you know what? I'll just show the snake too. Um as well. He just shed. This is his sheds. Um not that great of sheds, but uh you know. At least it got off. Uh he likes his cave because it's nice and dark and there's also a heat pad underneath, so you know. Uh but he's actually got the purple iridescence on him. I don't. I doubt you can see that on the camera. But uh, yeah. Can you see that? Oh, you probably can't. Um, but that's them. Um, or that's him. Uh, we'll just put him back, and then we'll move on to the spider ball python and the het for albino. Um. In the tubs. Um, so this is the spider ball python. Um, she won't eat for us. She hasn't eaten for like a month and a half. But as you can tell, she's still really fat. Um, she'll be fine. Um, just gonna keep trying her with mice so she takes them. Uh, I might have to buy her some African softers or I think that's their name. Um, but they're more like gerbils and that's what they'd eat in Africa. Um, so that's what the breeder was feeding him. So I'm just going to keep trying mice until he takes some. But if he doesn't and it's urgent, I have to feed him one. But after that, he probably won't switch back to mice. So there's the Hetfer albino. This is actually my little brother's. Um, but... Uh, he's really nice. He just ate another mouse. He's gained a lot of weight. Um, he's still really short. Uh, let's see if we can stretch him out. The smallest ball python we have. Um, but yeah, he's still pretty short. Can you smell? Oh, there you go. Just laid new, freshly new crap. Uh, I'm just gonna clean that out once we finish the video. Um, I guess that is just so we would do that um and so that is the oh oh come on bro go back in okay so those are the ball pythons now we're gonna move over to the uh kenyan sambos that side this is actually a new tank for them it's a uh breeding box by exoterra sorry i'm having trouble getting the lid off um we just fed her. I'm gonna be very careful getting them out, but uh, okay. So they're not on that side. Here we're gonna take this water dish out. If you wanna put it on there. See if we can find both of them. They're probably going to be cuddled up together. Um, okay, so. There they both are. Um, 
So there's the two of them. One male, one female. I will be separating them before breeding season, which is March. Um, she'll be getting another breeding bin for herself. Uh, female just ate, so I don't really want to hold these guys too much. They're fine if I just pick them up for a couple of seconds. But those are the two Canyon Sambos who are going to go cuddle up again. Keep warm. Uh, touch her tail if we go really fast. Anyway, the water dish. Get some roux in there. Here, put that in there. Okay, so there's the ball pythons, or the Kenyan side. Um, been bit a couple times by the female. She just doesn't like me. She'll bite me, and then my brother will pick her up, and she'll be just completely fine, which kind of makes me mad. Um, so. And now we'll go to the lizards. That was all five of my snakes. That's all the snakes I have. Um, but we'll move over to the water dragon. Uh, I also got a new missing uh, thing. It was like five bucks. Uh, works really well. You know, demo. So that worked fine. Um, here, there's the water dragon. Uh, Looking a bit darker right now. It's probably because I haven't filled up his water bowl. He's trying to get in there and make a mess again. Um, but the temps are good. 80 around the tank. He's got like a basking spot up there. Perches up there. Which will get pretty high. Um, see if that went on. Oh, it wasn't. Um, but nothing new in here, really, apart from the palm tree. Um, that'll grow up with him. Uh, so that's the water dragon. Uh, I'm not sure how old he is. I'm guessing he might be around like four months, three months, something like that. Um, so this is my bearded dragons, the new setup guys. I got cactuses. Uh, don't give me hell about it because I know he'll be fine. Um, he hasn't bit any yet. Uh, um, the race car's in there because I, I don't know why. It's just in there. Um, doesn't bother him at all. I don't know why it's in there though. But uh, don't give me hell about the cactuses. I know he's fine. Um, he's actually slept on one of them. Uh, no prickles were in him though. His skin's different than ours. Don't get really get uh, too much things. <laughs> Staring at the camera. Uh, oh, there's a fresh new crab. Um, you see the amount of veggies in there. Uh, so he's got a plain running spot. I gotta clean the sand. It's gross. Uh, so over here, he's just got a lot of room to run around and such um got some rocks and another cactus um two feeding dishes hey did you just look at me he did oh. um so that's the two lizards in here we'll move on oh never mind there's one more in here uh it's the panther gecko um so let's try and find him he's gonna be in his moist hide and he is Okay, just let me get him out here. Oh, he jumped. <laughs> he's tiny. He's a baby. Um, so, uh, that's him. He's in the tub with the snakes. He's completely fine. Holds humidity well. Uh, the humidity hides good, too. Uh, humidity and humidity hides probably at, like, 90 or something crazy like that. But, uh, so that's him. Let's see if we can get a good look at him. Uh, if we want to move up lightly, just move over. Um, got some really nice colors though. I don't know if the light's too loud. That's him. We shall move on to the other room where, as you know, the crusty gecko and the um the pygmy chameleon. around there or a uh, small juby it's getting there um light just flickered uh the red on him is really really good uh he does have a bit of the nose issue like most hero mastics uh i don't think you can really find a hero without the uh, bad nose here we'll try and get him he's a bit uh jumpy which i don't, I don't really name him fast 
you want to see his belly. It's really cool. Um, I love his tail. Um, so that's the Euromastix. His name's Dilbert. Um, and he is in what's the dimensions on this? Uh, something like 36 by 36. I don't know. Um, it's long. Uh, so there's a crusty on the glass. Knew we were coming in about anything. Um, the waterfall's running great still. Uh, this is a 24 by 24 by 18. Uh, something like that. Uh, oh, crap with dimensions, guys, you know that. Uh, this guy's doing really good. Um, let's see if we can get him to jump. Jump, jump on the camera. Anyway, yeah, he's a male, like you just heard Louis say. Uh, but you can see his bulges. I don't know if you can get. Anyway, he's just got massive bulges underneath there. <laughs> it's massive. Uh, I like his tail. He's got the arrow design on there. Uh, let me give him a miss down soon. And the pygmy chameleon is in here. Uh, so, we'll try it. Oh, there he is. He's right back. I'm going to remove the plant for a couple seconds so you guys can see him. I don't know if you can see him that well. Can you zoom in on that camera, Lee? No? Okay. Um, so there he is on the vine, probably trying to sleep. These guys fall asleep, fall asleep relatively early. They have like six crickets today. That's why we call them pigs. It's a lot for his size. Um, so that's all we got for reptile. Oops. We're gonna go back to my room and show off the mantis, I guess. May as well. Um, not really a reptile. Um, you know what? Just go down to my channel. Scroll down. It'll be there. Check out the mantis. Um, but rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Uh, Herb Co. Out. Uh, hope you like it, Reptile Boy.